My name is Kayla from Planning with Kay, and welcome to my cozy little corner of the internet. This is a place where you can take a break from your busy week to slow down and unwind and relax with me while I do some journaling. Journaling regularly is hands down the best thing I have ever done for my mental health, and there are tons of studies out there that show how journaling, writing about your day and your thoughts and your feelings can drastically reduce your anxiety and improve your mood and just make you a slightly better, happier person. I've definitely felt those effects firsthand, and that's why I find it so important to try to encourage people to try journaling themselves. I know that keeping a journal can feel daunting and you might not know exactly what to journal about or where to begin. So today I want to take you along with me as I do some simple beginner friendly daily journaling at the end of my day. I'm going to start off by grabbing my supplies that I want to use because journaling is also a way for me to satisfy my inner stationary nerd, the lover of markers and pens and stickers. So for this daily journaling page, I decided to grab a couple colored markers, a teal and a purple color combo that I was really vibing with that day. And I then went through my collection of stickers and found some stickers that match. So likewise, if you want to do some journaling along with me, grab your supplies now. Grab your favorite markers or pens, any stickers or washi tape, or scrapbooking supplies you have sitting around. And it can be as simple as just one black pen. Grab your supplies and grab your notebook and get ready to reflect on your day and unwind with some reflective, creative daily journaling. This page for my daily journaling today is going to be all about reflecting on the day that has passed. It is the night of October 25th, Friday. I've just finished a busy work week. I'm admittedly a little bit stressed about some of the work I'm behind on. I have a lot of thoughts floating around in my head and I'm ready to unwind from it all, to sit down before the weekend begins and take a moment to actually think about what I got done that day. I don't take these moments as often as I feel like I should And as a result, some of my days tend to blur together. I find that when that's happening, my journal is my go-to tool to help make my days feel a little bit more distinct and intentional. If you relate to that, if you feel like you're sometimes just floating through your life and the days and weeks and months and years become one, I think that journaling as a part of your daily or your weekly or even monthly routine can really help you out. It's a way to, again, very intentionally sit with your thoughts and your feelings and be able to document what's happening throughout your day. And if you're somebody like me that also has a pretty bad memory, you will not regret creating this living document of your life. Since I have been journaling nearly every single week now for eight years, I have 20 full notebooks that are evidence of these last eight years and everything that I have done throughout those days and weeks and months. And having that record, that physical record of my own writing on paper is something I wouldn't trade for the world. I am so grateful to myself eight years ago who watched a journaling video on YouTube and decided to try it out for herself. 
It's eight years later now, and I'm still journaling, and it's still helping me, even as I've gone from being a student to an engineer to a sticker small business owner to a YouTuber to a wife to a cat mom and through to everything else that I'll be in the future. I am so grateful to have these journals and these pages to look back on. And in the moment, being able to reflect and write about what's happening in my life just feels so relaxing and calming. And I definitely have felt firsthand how my anxiety and my stress can melt away as I create pages within my journal. Journaling is a very simple habit. It's a very simple idea, but the positive effects of it can be life-changing. I'll never stop preaching about that (laughs) because I believe in it. And every single year I continue journaling, I only believe in it more. So all of that being said, allow me to step off my journaling soapbox and get into what I'm actually doing here in my journal today. The easiest way to start a daily journaling page is by creating a little daily header with the date at the top, and then maybe throwing in a little bit of decoration to start. You're about to do a bunch of writing, so warming up your hands is always a good idea, and starting to get out some creative energy. I feel like it helps get the gears in your head churning. So I started off by using my two colored markers and my black pen. I created some really simple little streaks of color along the border of the page, and then I did a simple print font at the top with my two colored markers first, and then I went in with my black marker on top, creating a very simple kind of shadow effect. If you're interested in practicing your hand lettering as a fun creative hobby, I do have some videos up on my channel with some hand lettering tips and tricks and ideas. I'll have one of those linked up in the cards here. And I'll also have all the supplies that I'm using linked in the description down below for you. So with a little date at the top of the page and some decoration laid out to start, I'm ready to start reflecting on my day. And I wanted to start this off with a little schedule of what happened that day. So I listed the hours down the left side of this page from the moment I woke up through to the evening until the last thing that I really did that day. I was actually setting this up and filming this video at around 9 p.m. So you can see my schedule goes until 9 p.m. So this has given me an opportunity to think back hour by hour about what I did this day. Today felt like a very ordinary work day for me. I was very much just kind of going with the motions Fridays are my like YouTube filming and editing days, so I had a lot to do. But as I sat down to reflect on the day, I tried to think about the little moments that stuck out so I could document those here. Like my husband Jake and I, after we woke up, went on a little post office run to drop off some of our sticker shop orders, and we got some coffee in the morning, which was really lovely. And because it is, or it was almost Halloween, um, I got like a pumpkin latte in the morning. So I made sure to write down our little post office coffee date run. And then I also had a call with my mom in the afternoon. I wrote that in. Just take a second to reflect on all the little things that happen throughout the day. It doesn't need to be a a spectacular, unique, exciting day for us to be able to just think about the little moments that brought you joy. When reflecting on what you did that day, I encourage you to like focus on the positive things, especially if you're trying to journal to relieve stress or to improve your mood, 
that's definitely, that was my goal when I was journaling this evening. I was, you know, obviously filming a video while I was doing this. I was working and, you know, trying to get a bunch of stuff done, but I wanted this daily journaling page, even in the midst of all of that, to just be a moment for me to be grateful for the good things that happened that day. So that's sort of the, the lens I'm coming at this daily journaling practice with. I'm trying to not focus necessarily on all the things that are stressing me out, at least not at first. It's like I'm, I'm starting with the good stuff and going from there. So in that regard, the next thing that I'm doing after I outlined a little schedule of everything I did that day is I am doing a little bit of journaling about the best moment of the day. Gratitude and expressing gratitude is a huge part of journaling as a concept. And it's a huge part of like the, the research behind why journaling is so beneficial. A lot of it comes down to intentionally expressing gratitude. It allows you to reframe your experience in your day in a way that, that genuinely helps to relieve stress. So I love incorporating different like gratitude lists or gratitude logs into my journaling. And I thought that for today's daily journaling page, I would do that by reflecting on the best moment of the day. Now, again, this is a very typical day. I was mostly just working, but I really tried to think about what was one small little moment today that made me happy. For me, this was a moment when I was just talking with Jake in our kitchen and we just had a little a little moment of like reflecting on our last year and how grateful we are for the life we've built together and we just we had a little we you know had a little hug and just said how grateful we were for each other and it was a beautiful little you know five minute moment in my day in between the working and the stressing that brought me a little bit of peace and a little bit of joy. So I'm just writing about that here. It's these little moments that can work their way into our journal pages. And it's these little, you know, written paragraphs that future me will get to read and look back on as I'm flipping through these journals in the future. I love being able to look through all of my filled notebooks and read from the perspective of, of past me. It's, it's a really satisfying and fulfilling experience. And I love being able to celebrate the things that past me was up to. So creating this, this page here is not only really nice in the moment for just being grateful for uh, the little moments in life and expressing that gratitude, but it's also really nice to look back on. So I've got my daily breakdown schedule reflecting on what I did throughout my day. I then have a little highlight section to write about the best moment of the day. The next section that I'm going to make is called currently, and this is just a spot for me to write down the things that I'm currently loving. I decided to break this into some fun categories. So I've got currently eating, drinking, watching, listening to, and what's the last one? Feeling. So these are just some categories I came up with in the moment, but it just gives me a spot to basically write down like one thing I ate that day, one thing I drank, um, a movie or a show that I was watching, whatever music I'm listening to, and then a spot to write down just one word for how I'm feeling in that moment. Um, I really like these simple categories. And again, this is a way for you to reflect on your day, no matter how boring it was, even the most like boring, ordinary days, we typically still have things that we can think back on and be like, 
that coffee was delicious, you know, or like, I am really grateful for that lunch that I had, or I watched a really funny movie today, whatever it is, you know, I really do think that there's something worth journaling about in any day and thinking about every little piece of your day and all the things that you did that day can give you some ideas on little bits to highlight. And again, I think it's fun to be able to look back in the future and see what you were consuming at that moment in time and how it's different from your current tastes. So on this day, I had, I had pizza. I mean, there are so many days where I eat pizza, but today I had Jet's Pizza, which is like this really good deep dish pizza place near us here in Sarasota, Florida. Um, In the morning, I got some coffee, so I had that delicious pumpkin latte to celebrate the approaching of Halloween. I wrote down a YouTuber that I've really been loving, Rachel Oates, who does like long form, deep divey content. She does a lot of like book and reading related videos, but I just, I, she has a, a wonderful accent. I love listening to her talk for hours for listening to Jake and I are currently on repeat listening to the emo forever playlist on Spotify, which just has like all the good throwback pop punk songs that we love singing at the top of our lungs. It's our favorite thing. So I wrote down that playlist for listening to, and that leaves me with the final category, which is how I'm currently feeling. And here you can see the video is not frozen. I'm just taking some time to really dig in my brain and think about how am I feeling right now? I don't know about you, but I don't ask myself that question very often. I'm very much like a put my head down and just do the things I got to do type of gal. And my journal really is what forces me to, to think about like, well, how am I feeling right now? So I... After thinking about it, I realized I was, I was feeling a little bit restless. I think that's because I have just like, especially in it, on this day, I had such a long to-do list in my head of so many things that I had to get done. Um, work-related things, like things around the home, just, just so much. Black Friday's coming up. So as a small business owner, it's like that alone creates this infinite to-do list, but As I was sitting here journaling, thinking about how I was feeling, all of that started to come to mind. It started to get me a little bit stressed. So I decided based on, based on that feeling that I wanted to use the rest of this page to just brain dump a little list of stuff that I got to do. This way I could take all of those to-do list items that were occupying my brain space and causing me some stress and give them a home on this page to make sure I wouldn't forget them, to give me a little reminder of ways that I can alleviate my stress throughout the weekend. So I've got some work-related to-do list items, things like posting my monthly Patreon printables, doing a November Plan With Me live stream and a free Zoom Patreon hangout, finishing a new sticker collection, and purchasing some new ink. And instantly, by writing down this to-do list, I did genuinely feel my stress dissipate a little bit and get a little less. It's the power of writing down your to-do lists. It it helps every time. And again, eight years into journaling and writing my to-do list on paper, every single time I do it, I feel some of my stress melt away. So... I decided to do a little to-do list because that was going to help me in this moment, but cater this, you know, journaling practice to your specific day and whatever it is you're feeling. For example, if you can't stop thinking about the new book you're reading, then maybe your daily journaling page today is just going to be you journaling about this new book. Maybe you paste in a cover of the book and talk about the new chapter you read and why you're loving this book so much. Or if you had a really deep therapy session this week and it's got some feelings swirling up in your chest, maybe you just need 
a full page to like stream of consciousness, write about your feelings. Maybe it doesn't need to have decoration or any sort of category, and it just needs to be a space for you to write. Maybe you are really excited about an upcoming vacation that you're going to be going on. And today's journaling page is going to be you writing down lists of different places you want to visit and things you want to do while you're there. As you can see, there are an infinite number of possibilities when it comes to daily journaling. So once again, cater it to however you're feeling that day and whatever is piquing your interest. So I have now finished with the like bulk of this daily journaling page with my different categories that allowed me to reflect on my day. So I am finishing off by doing some extra decoration. For me, a huge part of my journaling is the creative aspect of it, getting to create pages that are beautiful and that give me that like fulfilling creative satisfaction of putting something on the paper that I enjoy looking at. I also do make my own stickers for my journaling, which adds a whole nother layer to decorating my pages. So like I said earlier, after I chose my two colored markers for this page, the teal and purple colors, I went through all the stickers I've designed and found some sheets that matched this color scheme. So I'm using some of my Magical Forest stickers. That's like this sheet I'm using here with the unicorns and gnomes and mushrooms. And then I paired that along with my leaves and succulents stickers. Some of these stickers are designs that I created probably like six, seven years ago at this point. I love getting to go back through my sticker inventory and use artwork I created so many years ago. It's again, just like a whole nother layer to my journaling that makes it so much fun. All of these stickers that I'm using are available in my sticker shop, planningwithk.com. That's where you can find all the stickers that I've designed throughout the years in like 90 plus different themes at this point. So I will also have a new sticker bundle that has all of these sticker sheets together if you want to buy them all at once in one click. So my sticker shop planningwithk.com will be linked in the description down below for you. And if you want to receive my new sticker collections every month, you can also join my sticker subscription over on Patreon. So I took my stickers and started layering them around the outside of the spread, filling in all of the empty spaces between those marker color strokes. And I am so in love with how the decoration came together here. I just get so much joy out of creating cute little pages like this with very simple supplies with just two colored markers and a few sheets of stickers, it's really satisfying seeing what you can create. So after laying in all of my sticker decoration, I now am finishing this page off with a quote. I really love practicing my lettering any chance I can get. So I decided to uh, bust out a couple more little font ideas here. And I'm doing a song lyric from one of the songs on that Emo Forever playlist. I thought this was a fun way to incorporate, you know, one of the things I'm currently listening to into some decoration for this spread. If you, like me, are a lover of hand lettering and maybe on your own hand lettering journey, doing quotes is a really great way to practice different lettering styles. You can do a lyric from a song you listen to, a line from a book you're reading, a line from a movie that you watched. So it goes hand in hand. It's a way to, you know, document a little memory by writing down a lyric or a quote that currently resonates with you. And it's a way to practice some fun lettering styles. So for this quote, I did some like bubble cursive lettering with a black drop shadow. And then I also just did some simple black print letters with this black brush pen I'm using. And now that the quote is, or the lyric is mostly written, let me know. Do you know what song this is? Just from, just from reading it, 
I feel like out of context, it's maybe a little bit hard to know, but the lyric says, try your best, try everything you can. I'll give you a second before I reveal. It is the song, The Middle by Jimmy World. I'll give, I'll give my best rendition. <clears throat> try your best, try everything you can. And don't you worry what they tell themselves while you're away. Okay, that's it. That's all you get. (laughs) If you know anything about me, you know I love some karaoke, and this is definitely one of my go-to karaoke songs. Don't judge that performance, though. I'm like whisper talking in my office, so I couldn't give it my full pop punk best, but... This is a classic. If you are a pop punk fan like me, then I hope you were singing along with me. (laughs) So I've got my emo girl, Jimmy E. World lyric lettered in, and I'm now just putting in the finishing touches, filling in any little extra bits of space with some more stickers because I am not a minimalist. I'm sure you can tell. I started this this page off a little bit more minimal because I wanted to show you like if you just have a colored marker and a black pen, I wanted to like build this spread up so you could see that you can create a, a really pretty journaling page just with those supplies. But then I had to bring the stickers in and just fill in every little blank space I could. I'm also using a bunch of these tiny little sparkle stickers to truly fill in every little blank space. This was so satisfying. I really had so much fun creating this page and it turned what otherwise would have been just a very unmemorable day into a day that will be forever documented and immortalized, not only in my journal, but also on my YouTube channel as a part of this video. So there really is always a reason to celebrate every single day. And I think that daily journaling is such a good way to remind yourself of that. Take this as a sign. The next time that you have a day where you're in your head or stressed out or can't seem to take your mind off something, take 30 minutes. That's all it takes. 30 minutes with your notebook and a marker and a pen and maybe a sheet or two of stickers Take a second to reflect on your day, express some gratitude, fill in the schedule of what you did that day, think about the food or drinks or music or movies you're loving, and just take a moment to unwind and relax and reset with some journaling at the end of a long day. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my journaling process today in this more slowed down, real time, relaxing editing style. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a like. It really helps out my channel and subscribe for new videos and journaling live streams every single week. Don't forget to check out the links to my sticker shop and Patreon down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.